Welcome to our channel Balanda Tips. In this tutorial, you will learn that how we can create the procedural mouse material in Blender with the help of nodes. And here you can see that I add a lot of nodes to create this material and I also plug in all the essential or required parameters into the group input node and by pressing tab you can enter into the procedural mouse material custom node from where you can control all the different parameter to control the mouse material and here you can see that there are uh, three different colors to control the mouse color the first two color can control the mouse color and the third color is control the mud color and here you can see that also the another parameters to control and this is the noise scale and this is the noise detail and uh, this is the mouse density which increase the mouse density and this is the bump, bump strength number one and this is the second bump strength and uh, from this mouse mud conversion we convert the mouse into the entirely mud and into the mouse and this is the mouse variation from where we can control the variation in the mouse and here if we decrease the value then you can see that the material is changing beautiful and this is the roughness and this is the displacement because i develop this material in cyclist render because displacement is only work in cyclic render not in ev render and if you want to download this procedural mouse material then you can visit my patreon page and Gomlet stores links are in description. So let's start. I open the blender and uh, set up the scene. And here you can see that uh, this is 3D viewport, and I am in camera view and rendered view. And uh, this is the icosphere, and uh, this is the uh, highly uh, subdivided icosphere when I uh, enter into the edit mode. And here by pressing N, I also turn on the uh, screen cost keys because uh, you can see which I press nice and this is the shader editor and here you can see that i rename this material procedural mouse material and uh, here in uh, material section here in setting and here in surface i choose the displacement type displacement and bump and here in word here i choose the machine shop xdri which i download from polyheaven.com beautiful now here i add some nodes to create the procedural mouse material so for that here by pressing shift a here i add the voronoi texture and here is the voronoi texture and i place the voronoi texture something like here and by pressing control t which is the feature of node regular add-on because i enable the node regular add-on and if you don't enable the node regular add-on then you go to the edit add in preferences and here in add on you type here node and just check mark the node regular add on beautiful and here i use the objective coordinate so connect with the objective coordinate and here by pressing control shift and press the node you can preview the node which is also due to the node regular add on and here i set the corona texture values and here i increase the scale type something like 35 and uh, here i add another node which is the noise textures to distortion to create distortion to the corona texture by pressing shift a here i add noise texture and place the noise texture between the mapping and corona beautiful and here i increase the scale up to 10 and here i increase the detail up to 14 and also increase the roughness something point 700 beautiful nice and now here i add the mix color node to give some color to the mouse so for that here by pressing shift a here i search for mix and here 
by default this is flow type but i choose the color and place the mix node in between Voronoi texture and principal PSDF. Beautiful. And into the factor, and here I apply two different colors for the mouse. So here, here I choose some green color and also decrease this value uh, something like to make it dark green. And here I also choose some green color, but this is the uh, light green beautiful nice now uh, this the material is too much smooth so for that i uh, may want to make some bumps to this material so for that here i add some bumps so here i choose the Voronoi texture and put into the normal of the principal psdf and here you can see that this is some shading problem because this is the black and white data and this is the normal data to convert black and white data into the normal data i uh, use the bump node and here i place the bump node and also the distance into the height now you can see that the material is too much bumpy so here i decrease the roughness uh, something like 0.300 beautiful and i also add the bumps to the nose texture so for that i duplicate this bump by pressing shift d to duplicate and here i use the factor of the nose texture into the height of the bump node and here i connect the first bump node into the second bump nodes and here i increase the bump value uh, something point 500 now nice now this is the procedural mouse material but here i want uh, uh, some parts of this procedural mouse material is mouse and some part of this material is without mouse so for that here i add the another nodes so here i use the mix shader I create another shader so to mixing both here i use the mix shader and type the mix shader and place the mix shader uh, something like here and put this into the second and here i use the diffuse bsdf so for that by pressing shift a here i search for a diffuse bsdf sorry this is displacement by pressing shift a here i choose diffuse bsdf and put the into the shader nice and uh, here i want to decrease the color something like this beautiful now here i use the factor to make the variation between the mouse and without mouse nice here i add the another noise textures by pressing shift a here i search for noise texture and place it something like here and by pressing ctrl d this will be at the mapping and texture coordinate and connect the object with the vector of the mapping and uh, here i put the noise into the factor of the mix shader and uh, by controlling the noise here I add the color ramp by pressing shift A. Here I add the color ramp and place the color ramp between the noise texture and mix shader. Something like here. And also adjust the noise texture. Here I choose too much noise like 20 and also increase the detail up to 40. Beautiful. Now I move the pointer of the color ramp. To adjust the mouse in some places something like this and also move something like this beautiful it's look better nice now I want to add some bumps to the mouse 
real pumps because these pumps are fake pumps but here i want to add some real pumps for that here i add the displacement so connect the color ramp with the displacement of the material output nice and here you can see that uh, this is because this is the color data and this is the displacement data to convert the displacement data into the uh, to convert the color data into the displacement here i search for displacement and place the displacement here and also the normal into the height now i decrease the scale of the displacement decrease something uh, here i enter the value of point zero zero five beautiful nice and here you can see that our procedural mouse material is ready and by pressing f12 we can render the procedural mouse material beautiful and here uh, you can see that our procedural mouse material is in rendered view nice thanks for watching